What's up guys, Phoenix here, this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, and this time I'm playing with the Zodiac Shadal deck that I haven't touched in a little while. Now this hand is kinda terrible, didn't draw any way to a rat here, which is kind of bad, but hey, we take those. Uh, but So what I could still do is I could still go uh, Viper up into a few of my uh, Zoo Exceses, like Tiger Mortar into Bullhorn to get a search. Uh, and just do stuff like that. I've got instant fusion for the backup, for the follow-up. Um, so that's kind of fun. I could actually establish a Winda, uh, funnily enough, uh, by doing this. I could, I could establish Winda, Dryden, plus Max C. So this hand isn't even really, like, terrible. Uh, but it is still pretty fucking bad. Uh, so instead, I'm going to use this to, uh, to search for a rat. And leave the Viper, or the Whiptail, underneath it. And uh, this will be this will be fine from here. Um, I could actually do this add poly, that seems like it's so much more valuable um, in the long run, but rat, rat is probably the card that I just need to go into. Uh, and then I'll be able to make my dry dent, and then I'll set my barrier and back it up with max C. So that seems like it's a, a good thing uh, to have, especially considering that I have, I'm unknown of what the matchup is. Uh, I, this matchup could literally be anything uh, at this point. This dry dent should actually probably be in attack mode, um, because like... Strictly speaking, 1,200 is bigger than 400. Um, ah, okay. So, a, uh, a Swap Frog, Dupe Frog. So, I don't know at this point if he's playing Mermail or if he's playing something like Paleozoic Frog. Um, but at this point, all I know is that there's a Dupe Frog and there's a Ronin Toten. So, there's that. Uh, but so, from here, if he special summons that Swap Frog again, I'm going to feel like, damn it. I'm going to feel like I've been gotten. Um, I got got. Uh, because of the fact that I could have dropped this Max C, um, and the worst that would happen would be he passed his turn. So he's playing a lot of frogs. Uh, so the, the option here that we could have, as far as uh, as far as play option, is uh, is that he could be playing uh, Paleozoic Frog, which is honestly what I expect more of at this point. Um, but really, I okay. So you're summoning another Ronin. Um, that's that's fine. Uh, so I draw another card. That's a dimensional barrier. So I guess I'll just dimensional barrier on Xyz here, um, and I will chain my Dryden't uh, just to kill one of the Ronin Totens, just so it's not on the board, so I can clear the next one next turn. Um, so I just I drew quite a few cards off that Maxi that um, that are fine for me. Because now I've got the Lunalite Black Sheep, which is great. So that means I've got Polarization, um, and I've got a Foolish. This is all really good. Um, so what this means now is that I've got access to instant fusion. Um, I've got uh, I've got a foolish that I can use to send Skulmata, and I can send uh, I can send uh, instant fu uh, I can send Skulmata, send Hedgehog, search Dragon, um, send Black Sheep to f add uh, to add the uh, the Poly, uh, and then I'll be able to uh, fuse into Winda, and I'll be able to just keep his stuff off the board. So this seems like it's very favorable for me at this point in Juncture. Especially since he only has two back row, and he doesn't have a Toad. Um, he doesn't have Totally Awesome on the board, so that's very, very, very good for me <laughs> as far as as far as far what I'm going to be dealing with. Uh, and this is just the, the icing on the cake. Opening this Foolish was just great. Uh, because I'll be able to make a, I'll be able to make like an Emerald first. Um, that's the thing. Is I'll be able to make an Emerald, um, or I could just make... No, Emerald's the only card in my extra deck that I can't make. Um, so never mind. I was be like, I, I was like, I can make a dweller, I can do all this cool stuff, but nah, man. Um, I can make double Emerald. I mean, that's an option. Uh, so we'll do this, send uh, Hedgehog, and then I guess I can make Emerald first, just so that I get my search for Dragon here. Uh, that way, I can use Beast and Dragon to make Winda off of this Polymerization, and the Dragon will pop back row. But I want to be able to make my, uh, I want to be able to make my stuff first. And I'll be able to make another Dryden and another uh, Emerald. So this is going to be a really weird play. Um, so yeah, what we'll do is we'll normal summon this, and I'm going to use its effect uh, because I think there might be combo in my deck. Uh, there is not. Okay, I was mistaken. So it is, it is like Vanity's Emptiness. I'm unsure of what cards I have in my deck list at this point because I've been flip flopping back and forth on either the one copy of Vanity's Emptiness or the Zodiac combo. <laughs> so that's that's what that's about. Um, but so I can just go into a Tiger Mortar and into a Dryden to get a free card. Um, 
So there's that. So we'll do this. And, uh, and I'll just, yeah. Special summon rat here, yes. Uh, so I'll detach, special rat, and then I will, uh, I'll instant fusion. The reason I'm doing it in this order specifically, uh, is because of the fact that, uh, I can put broad bull over this and get a search and then, um, make a, uh, another, another Xyz, uh, make a Dryden over it. So, at this point, like, this just, this is a really weird playline, but it plays around the most cards, if that makes sense. Uh, so that's, that's why it's being done in this, uh, in this order. Because I've already made my Tiger Mortar, but I can put, uh, Borbo on top of it, um, after I shuffle it back, and I can put Broad Bull on top, shuffle it back, uh, or, uh, search, not shuffle it back, Jesus. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> I'm losing my collective mind here. Uh, but, so, we'll detach this, we'll shuffle back the Broad Bull, shuffle back, uh, the Borbo is still under this, so that's going to be a bit of an issue, but we'll put back the Tiger Mortar, and we'll put back the Rat Pierre, uh, because it's fine uh, at this point. And so these will allow me to draw a card, which is a Squamata, which is very good, and so from here I can activate this. I completely forgot the Borbo was the one that was still under this. That was a problem. Uh, but I can pop this Ronin Toten, and then I can Special Summon the Broad Bull over here, and then get a search for Whiptail or Rat at this point. I think I think at this point I'm just gonna go for the Whiptail because that's just the better card because it allows me to put it under the uh, under the new Dryden I'm about to summon. Um, and so we'll put Dryden on top of this and then I've got the Whiptail backing it up and now I've got this here for another rank 4 play if that's like an option. Um, which I mean could very well be an option but first we're gonna poly. We're going to poly and we're going to send Beast and Squamata. And we're going to fusion into the Winda. So we're going to summon this Winda. And we're going to use both of these effects. And the Dragon is going to pop a back row. And then the Beast is going to draw a card. I've got the Barrier backing me up. Uh, this playline was a bit weird. I just actually didn't need to summon this other rat. Um, but I forgot that Borbo was not in my extra hat. Storming Mirror Force! Hey! Look at you. Alright, well, so what I've got now is that these are all in attack mode. Uh, so if there's another Stormy Mirror Force face down, that's going to be a big problem. I'll have you find. I'll have you know. Uh, but as it stands, I'm just going to attack with these. And I'm not going to equip my Whip Tail until that Dryden itself is attacking. And I'm going to leave that for the last one to attack. Because if this is another copy of Stormy Mirror Force, I don't want to get, you know, diddled by just giving away free cards. And so at this point, I've just I've got a commanding position over this game, um, even though I I made some pretty subpar play lines as far as as far as summoning this rat. But like I said, I forgot that Borbo was in my uh, was under my Dryden. I just I knew it wasn't in the graveyard, so I was like, ah, it might it must still just be in the extra deck. Har -dar 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 -dar. Uh, but so we'll attack with this, and then we'll put the uh, the whip tail under it, so that it also has stats. And that way I've got two Dryden Pops next turn, which means that Ronin Toten is not going to resolve, as well as I've got Winda. So, like, Dryden plus Winda, one Dryden plus a Winda is already a soft lock because you can only special summon once. And so, when they special summon that one monster, you just pop it with Dryden, and now they can't special for the rest of the turn. But now with two Dryden's, hell yeah. Like, that's just very, very good for me in this situation. And uh, it's one of the reasons why I feel like this is a really cool deck. Now, there was a deck at YCS Atlanta that got a uh, top 32, I think. That, if I remember correctly, that was uh, Shadal Burning Abyss Zoo. And that was a cool deck, too, because it just played the Burning Abyss cards to make Dante and Invoker. And that was, like, the coolest that I've seen in a long time. And it was, like, he was playing Phoenix Rhino Warrior and Shadal Fusion, so he could use Shadal Fusion for Shekinaga, sending Rhino Warrior plus a Shadal Monster to Grave, and then Rhino Warrior would, like, send Farfa, so that Farfa could banish another card. Uh, it was really cool. It was a really cool thing to see. I was really pleased by it when I saw it being piloted by the user but uh but as for right now i'm just sticking with this like shadal zoo list because i like playing more shadal cards even though they are normal summons and they do clog your hand when you don't have access to a fusion uh fusion spell if you have access to any zoo play then you have your fusion spell so that's just something to keep in mind but so this ronin totem is being special summoned but it's not going to matter per se um i'm just gonna pop it in in the end phase i guess um He's setting three, which is kind of scary. Setting another card too. Jesus, setting a monster. Um, and so I'm just going to I'm going to go ahead and pop this Ronin Toten. That way I can just put my Dryden into defense mode. 
Um, or I could just stack up uh, more monsters on top of it. So I can use Emerald to shuffle back my uh, Broad Bull and uh, my stuff. The only problem is that I don't play Diamond Dyer in this extra, and I feel like that's a card I definitely want at some point. Uh, I might like cut Sheck to one because I almost never summon two of that card, uh, but I mean it's there for the option, so I guess there's that. But as it stands, I've got all of my rats back in my deck, yeah, um, and so what I can do is I've got yeah I've got all the rats back in the deck. So what I can do is I can Emerald uh, back my Xyz monsters um, these three specifically I can put them back so that if I do run headlong into something like storming mirror force um, then I can uh, I can um, I can just do the rat play again into an emerald and then make uh, make the dryant again <laughs> so like it's it's pretty effective um, if I do say so myself so we'll see what happens the only card I'm playing around here is storming mirror force that's the only card that I'm afraid of a maxi that was the card that you drew off Reckless. I'm attacking with a zero attack monster. Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsies. All right, so it looks like looks like there's no storming or mirror force or Wabaku or anything to stop this game train from happening. Oh, a Pikaya. Interesting. So he's going to be able to do nothing? Okay. I was I was really confused as to how that was going to play out and how that one was going to pan out, but it fortunately ended up in my game still winning it with me in the victor's position anyway so I I had a really weird play line there with that rat uh, but anyway as long as there's nothing to do for me right now except maybe activate this max C I'd like to take some time to plug a new sponsor of my channel uh, there is a store in Florida called second chance gaming in Orlando in the Orlando Florida area specifically I think in like Kissimmee and they sponsor my channel directly. So if you want to support the channel and you want some cards, if you want some cards that you see me playing in these videos, you can definitely check out a link in the description to their site. And you could tell them that Phoenix sent you. And you could potentially buy some things. They're very good on shipping and they're very good on uh, on prices. Uh, so there is that. Uh, so there is that to deal with. But uh, I have two rats and I've got Barrage. Ooh, I don't like where this is going. I don't like it. I'm going to use it to send another barrage to grave because I don't want to draw another one. Oh, oh my god. I'm really tired actually right now. It's been a long day. Uh, so what is this? This is the Book of Moon, yeah? It is the Book of Moon. Alright. So he's Book of Mooning my thing. So I'm going to activate my barrage and I'm going to use the barrage, target itself, summon Whip Tail. Because with Whiptail, I'll be able to step up into a few monsters. I don't play Thoroughblade in this deck, and I probably just should. Uh, it's probably just a it's probably just a card that I should play just to be an extender, um, if I do say so myself. A Reckless Greed here. Very interesting. He's using this, so I will use this because I'm gonna get that free draw. I'm gonna get it. You're not gonna prevent me from doing this. A Shadow Dragon. Neat. Okay, so now I can actually make Shekinaga. Uh, and Shekinaga is a pretty big, beefy wall that he would have to deal with. Uh, but I'm going to Tiger Mortar over this. And then I'm going to Broad Bull and Fuse. Uh, okay, so Dynamiscus is something I'm dealing with now. So he's going to be able to just remove that. And now that's a problem, <laughs> because now I'm dealing with this face-down rat. All right, well, so what I'll do is I'll just set the barrier, pass my turn, and uh, if he flips a monster, uh, I'll just call Xyz, and he's going to kill my rat. It's pretty self-exclamatory that that's going to be the course of action that happens. But at the same time, I'll be, able to draw my, I'll be able to buy myself a turn to draw into a fusion spell, which will allow me to go into check, which will allow me to pop that remaining back row. Um, so from here, it seems fine. Uh, yes, Xyz, please. Oh, I'm not dealing with this right now. Uh, he can special summon this back from Grave um, if he wants to, uh, which I don't see why he wouldn't. It's more damage at this point. Uh, but this is just another resource that I get to banish by attacking into it. So there's that, and that's good. So the Ronin Toten is going to attack over my <laughs> Mulmorat because it has 100 attack. Oh, boy. Uh, so now these attack me. That's 24. Uh, so I need to draw. I need to draw a fusion spell. 
uh, is what I need to draw. Well, actually, I don't even need to draw a fusion spell. I just need to resolve Bullhorn, uh, which I can do off of this rat. Um, I can summon a rat. I can get another rat from deck, and then Bullhorn uh, and search for uh, Black Sheep, which will allow me to uh, fuse. Uh, that's assuming that this back row isn't anything that I need to worry about, but that's making a pretty hefty assumption. Uh, but we'll see. No, not going to use that effect. Not. Uh, I'm going to use Tiger Mortar here. And I'm actually... Uh, okay, come on now. No, you're going to remove it from the board. Don't. No. No. I lose this game. This game is one I lose. Ha, 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 ha. Even if he's under Reckless, it doesn't matter. He gets to make it totally awesome now. And that's, that's going to be what causes me to lose this game. Because I'm not going to be able to play around it. Uh, because I can't... I, I can draw a fusion spell, yeah. But that's going to just get negated and the rest of my hand isn't going to be live. So that's that's terrible. <laughs> that's terrible for me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, but let's see. He can just attack with all this. This is more damage if he does this before totally awesoming. Well, no, it's not. Uh, if he overlays these two. I was just looking at these two and thinking that if he overlaid those, it was bigger. But if he overlays the Ronin Toten with the uh, with any of the traps, it's more damage that way. Uh, as well as he could do 42 if he makes uh, if he makes the uh, the Digesto Phoenix. But also he's low on cards, so he could also make Opabinia. Uh, and honestly, I think Opabinia Tree Toad was probably the better play because he could have made Ronin Toten plus one of the traps in Opabinia, detach Ronin. Search for a trap that could have been activated. Or no, not even detach one, detach the trap. Well, no, no, never mind, because he needs the trap under it to make the material happen. So yeah, this is actually just better. Um, well, arguably better. Opabinia would have been a defensive line, and this is a defensive line, but Opabinia would have allowed him to get his traps back. So uh, that's that's the only thing that's really uh, that's really like an issue here as far as the options play line wise. And so he's summoning a swap out of his deck so that he can fuel for a guaranteed toad next turn and so I'm gonna activate this and this is probably gonna get negated if it doesn't get negated I don't know what the hell is going on uh, but I'm putting this down first because I can normal summon Shadal Dragon really okay well I'm gonna normal summon Shadal Dragon I'm gonna use barrage uh, to pop or get bo <laughs> or get bottomless that's not what I was expecting to happen not one bit in fact I think you'll find um, that's not at all what I was expecting to occur in that, uh, in that play cycle. <laughs> Bottomless Trap Hole. The last card I was playing around. Uh, but anyway, so what I'm going to be able to do is I'm going to be able to use these. I'm going to be able to attack over this Swap Frog. It's going to get banished, um, unless he negates with Toad. Uh, in which case, uh, it'll still be destroyed. So I don't know if he can actually tribute it since it is still registered at this point in the game state. No, it is. It is not. Okay, so it is still tributable. Uh, there's some weird interactions where, like, at the point that it's activating to vanish, this card's already treated as destroyed, uh, so it wouldn't be able to be tributed, but at this point, uh, at this point, I lose. So I'm not even going to waste any more time sitting here doing this. Uh, we're just going to go straight into the next game. <laughs> because, I mean, why not? Why not, you say? But anyway, uh, this is Demol, and this is one of my favorite people to play against because he always has a really, like, wide variety of uh, what he's willing to play. Um, and so, like, the amount of things that he's willing to play for, uh, for games is always cool. Uh, because a lot of people, like, will play the same thing over and over again. Like, uh, like, Iradium, he's known for his, like, he almost always wants to play his, uh, like, BA Dark Lord nonsense kitchen sink deck against me. Where it's literally, like, every good engine in the, in the format right now. And, uh, and then there's, uh, Canadian Courage, who loves BA decks as well. And Demol is really, like, the most flexible person in terms of the person, people that I play against. Because he plays, like... 10 different things like he's he's always got like four or five different options um, for any recording session uh, for what he's willing to play and that's super flexible and it's super like appreciated uh, how flexible it is but carrying on um, he is from my uh, discord server uh, and I talk with them and all the other people that I play games with on that so if you're interested you can definitely go check out my patreon link in the description because uh, there's literally nothing else for me to talk about at this point other than just how you could go to play games for me because this is such a cookie cutter combo at this point um like i don't even need to commentate this because you can just see it happening 
and it's so simple. But because I have the Bear Man, I'm going to be normal summoning it. That's why I barraged. Instead of normal summoning Hedgehog and popping it with Barrage to get the plus, um, I get a plus three doing this. Uh, so this seems better. <laughs> and I also keep the I also keep the Hedgehog to be uh, fused with. So like, there's that as well. Um, now the thing is, is that a card I might add into this extra deck is uh, El Shadal Grista, just because the go-to for turn one play is almost always Giant Trainer. So like, and that's a fire. So that's actually like super like real. <laughs> is the fact that it's a fire and you can just like make El Shadal Grista. And it's a Max C that he now knows he has to play around. And now let's see, what other card? I've already got the Dimensional Barrier that he has no knowledge of. So, well now he has knowledge of that Dimensional Barrier. Um, so there's that. And so what I've got access to now is that I can Instant Fusion and make an Emerald. Um, or I could Instant Fusion and make a Winda. Uh, and do things like that. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I'll just keep doing this. You can have fun. Uh, you can have fun over there <laughs> having a having a stress outfit, but um, if I draw any Shadal off of this, uh, then I'm going to just make Winda. And hopefully, if, if it's something like Squamata that I draw, that'll be even better, uh, because what I'll be able to do there is I'll be able to, um, I'll be able to send Shadal Fusion to Grave, even though I'm not expecting anything out of the ordinary to happen to my, uh, to my uh, resource pool. Um, I can activate this and summon Shek, but there's no real reason to summon Shek and Naga right now. Um, and so I'll just summon the Drancia and I'll back it up with Barrier, and that seems fine. So it just ends you with a lot of cards and a lot of potential fusion summon resources, but I didn't draw into that other Shadal that I needed, so that's a bit unfortunate. But at the same time, I've got access to Max C, Dimensional Barrier, all this nonsense, so that's pretty good. Uh, so here comes a Swap Frog, and Swap Frog is going to send Ronin. Uh, which is going to be pretty damn decent for me. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and activate this. Uh, since he knows the Maxi is there, I'm going to activate Dryden and pop the uh, Swap Frog uh, so he can't ba uh, bounce it to hand. So this requires him to have more cards in order to have a good uh, interaction because it requires him to have another Swap Frog in hand, which he already discarded one, so I doubt that he actually has one. And I'm going to Maxi here just because it's the most, like, it's the most susceptible time to be max seed at this point. And that's a Shadal Dragon. That's very good. That means that I'm going to be able to fuse into Winda, pop a back row. We're going to be, we're getting in there, boys. We we went in and we grinning. Uh, but so I can start my next turn with an Emerald. And then I can also put Tiger Mortar on top of my uh, Dryden't and re-equip Rat, do the Rat play again, um, and then make another Emerald. So like, I've got many options. Uh, as far as what I'm capable of doing, and since I just drew this instant fusion, I can now emerald back my uh, my uh, my Norden as well. Uh, but even if he uses Dynamiscus here to banish my emerald, or this is no, this isn't even Dynamiscus. Uh, this is Morelia. All right, never mind. For some reason, I just thought that it was uh, Dynamiscus, <laughs> which is not the case. Uh, but so I'll just use this right now uh, to put back my Bullhorn, my Norden, and. Uh, I'm not too worried about that Tiger Mortar. I'll put back a Maxi. That way I have a good chance at drawing the Maxi uh, alongside the secondary one that is in my deck already. Vanity's Emptiness. All right. So what I've got access to here now is I've got Tiger Mortar, which I can use here. I can re-equip that rat that I left in Grave. I've got two rats left in my deck. Um, and I can use Barrage to pop my Emerald, summon Whiptail, uh, and then I will be able to Emerald back my first Emerald, meaning my uh, play, uh, play string cycle is essentially infinite. So we're, we're going to mess with that in that sort of way and structure. So it's kind of hard for his deck to play into my stuff like this. Um, so that's, that's a big problem. Now, I could just run headlong into like a Storming Mirror Force, but I've got the dragon here. So hopefully that's not too big of a problem. Ah, Dynamiscus. How very nice of you to show yourself. But so now this is still fine because uh, I can still go rat into, uh, into stuff. Because I've got instant fusion, <laughs> so I'll instant fuse for Norden, um, and I'll just bring back the rat that's in my grave, and then I'll still be able to make her a, a rank four. Uh, so this will be good. So I'll just do this for Norden, bring back my stuff. Um, that maxi is a bit of a problem, a tiny bit of a problem. Uh, but what I can do here is I can special this in attack mode. I can use this effect bring back my rat and I can just overlay straight for bullhorn 
question mark. Uh, these are unaffected by monster effects, so that's going to be a big, like, sort of issue there. A pseudo issue, if you will. Um, but yeah, I could just go straight for Bullhorn, get a Viper, and put it under it. Um, yeah, Xyz. I'm going to just Xyz the Vanilla way. Um, going into Bullhorn with two materials. And then I'll detach Norden to, uh, to search for another card. And as long as this isn't, like, Wabaku, then, uh, then we'll be pretty fine. Uh, really. But so I'm going to use this to get my search first. Uh, I'm going to leave the rep here under all of this stuff because the rep here staying under uh, is a very, very good resource to have. Uh, because it'll mean that the Dryden can extend my play next turn. So that'll be cool. I also haven't normal summoned yet, so I can normal summon the Viper and just do a bunch of attacks there. Um, he's getting some draws off of this Max C, but he is also under Reckless, so I'm not too worried about it. Especially since I think that I just have, like, game here. Um, if I pop the Ronin and, uh, and then summon another Whiptail from deck off of, uh, off of the, uh, stuff, off of the Barrage, because I have a second Whiptail in deck, um, do I want to use that effect? Yes. Do I want to use this effect? Yes. Uh, so Dragon will pop this back row, and then Hedgehog will give me a search. And so, like I said, as long as this card isn't something like Wabaku, I think I have game this turn. Because I can clear the Ronin, I can attack two monsters, um, and then things will just be on the up and up for me, as far as that goes. So I'm going to add Skolmata to hand. Skolmata is just the best one right now, because it's any of them. And so that was Solemn Strike. Alright, interestingly enough. So, what I can do here is I can activate this, and uh, I can put multiple Whiptails under my Drancia, uh, and that'll be pretty decent. But I can use this now, detaching Broad Bull to pop the Ronin. I'm not going to pop these because they're unaffected by monster effects. Uh, this can attack, and then Drancia will be able to attack, and the Whiptail will be able to attack. So yeah, I'm going to use this Barrage, and I'm going to use the Barrage on itself. Uh, to summon a Whiptail from my deck. And from there, this should be pretty close to a game shot. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of struggling with the math here, but this should be easy. Um, should be very easy, in fact. I'm just going to go ahead and put this under this. Because these two attack those, and then this is 5k. So yeah, this is definitely just a game shot, because this can put itself under the Dryden. Um, so yeah, this is... This is just 100% an OTK right here. <laughs> oh my. And even if it wasn't, his monsters are, his uh, traps are getting banished. And I've got vanities plus barrier. So, like, it's it's pretty easy to be uh, to be dealing with this. Even though I just let him draw, like, six cards off Max C. What was it? He's like five or six. He had one or two cards in hand. I can't even remember. Um, yeah, because he reckless and then he dynamiscus. So he had, like, one card. And that one card was Max C, and then I gave him six cards. So, yeah. <laughs> that, was a, that was a bit weird. But this deck will always prevail in my heart, because it's Shadals. And I love Shadals. Shadals are my deck. Shadals are that deck that really, really got me amped up for Yu-Gi-Oh! Right before uh, Necros came out. Um, because, like, it was just, it was so cool, the fact that Konami had finally made a mechanic as terrible as Fusion Summoning. Really, really competitive, up to the point where... It was beating out all the other decks. But anyway, that's it for this video. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to all the nonsense you usually do. Links are in the description to my Facebook page, my Patreon page if you want to support the channel directly, as well as get in on a monthly giveaway I'm doing at the end of this month. Haven't figured out for what yet, but it's going to be a good bit of Konami product, either that or just a high dollar card um, of the format. And uh, it also allows you to potentially have access to get onto my Discord server where I chat with people on a day-to-day -day basis as well as film games with those people. If that's what you're interested in doing, you can definitely go check that out. Or if you just want to support the channel, you could do something like that. But like I already said earlier in the video as well, there's also a link in the description to the website for secondchancegaming.com. If you want to purchase any of the cards that you've seen me play in this video, or if you're looking for cards for decent prices, or if you're just in the Orlando, Kissimmee, Florida area and you're looking for a shop, uh, to shop from that would uh, send them to you rather quickly then you could definitely check out second chance gaming they are a sponsor of this channel and they help me out a ton and supporting them helps support me as well so if you're interested definitely go check them out but other than that as always guys thanks for watching as i may have already said like comment subscribe all that nonsense let me know what your thoughts are on this deck in the comments down below and all that sort of nonsense thanks for your time as usual and take care guys i will see you in the next video